All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about target blank. And that means, you know, sometimes you click on a website link and it opens it up in a new tab and sometimes it doesn't. So like if we click around on my website right now, this is my index page, my home. And if we click on portfolio, it doesn't open this up in a new tab. It still stays within this tab just like this. But say if we wanted to click on, say, social media, this is a great example. If I wanted to click on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or maybe I had another company's advertisement on my page, well, I'd want that to open up in a new page because I still want this page to keep going. So if I were to click on Facebook and it took, it took you away from my page, your average page duration would go down. And that's a big thing how Google ranks your site is they want you, you want someone to be on your site as long as you can. I mean, Google, as soon as you go on somebody's website, they start the timer, just like a stopwatch, Mississippi one, Mississippi two, Mississippi three. And if we didn't, if we clicked on Facebook or Twitter and it took us away from our page, our average, we'd be losing our average page duration because it wouldn't be as high as it could potentially be. So in order to do that, so for social media and advertisements, sometimes you want it to open up in a new tab. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say, let's click on, here's my stupid little website that I made. I've got just one little, let's look at this right here. It's just my logo. That's all it is. It's just basic HTML and it's just an image right now. It's not even a link. It's not even a link. So what I want to do, command save that. Let's reload this. All right, now it's not a link. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and create a link. A href equals, I don't know, we'll just set it to Twitter. HTTP forward slash www.twitter.com. And we'll close it out. Go to the end of the code and type out uh, closing a tag. So now let's go ahead and reload this. Now this should be a link, but if we click on it, so here's our window right here, Village Park. If we click on this, it clicked on Twitter, but it took us off our page. Now we're not, I mean, we're blowing it. I mean, potentially we could have somebody on our page much longer. So what we want to do for instances like social media and advertisement, we want to go ahead and go ahead and add this right after the second uh, quotation in your href tag right here, type target equals underscore quotation blank save it just like that so now if we click on this picture watch this this village park is going to stay here and it's going to open up this in a new tab voila check it out so we still have our page open in the browser we might not be on it but google doesn't know that so right now we have twitter open up in a new tab so we still have our average page duration going and the google timer is still going and again that's a big factor you want people to be on your website you want to have a low bounce rate yada 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 bounce rate that's another i'll talk about that in the next video but we have successfully created a target underscore blank html tag that opens up social media and an advertisement or anytime you want somebody to get off your page but keep your page open in the tab window that's when you're going to want to use it all right guys hopefully this video made sense good luck i'll see you guys in the next video we talk about what we're we talking about bounce rate all right guys good luck